Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you guys six ways to hide your base with completely no redstone. That's right, no redstone. None of this. This, this, this poop. None, none of that. Oh, I found out where my base is. So without further ado, let's get into number one. So number one is probably the simplest, 100% the most simple. So you just have to go to like an ocean or a big body of water, and then you can swim down to the bottom, just make a hole where you want your chest to go, place it in, and then you could just put your diamonds in there, or you could put a sign right here, and then the water will stop flowing and you can make a whole base under there. So let's move on to number two. So number two, probably most of you guys know this, but if you place a painting, then break two of the blocks and place signs, you can actually go right through it and you can put your base in here. And why are there bats? Yeah, be careful bats though. Um, but in this case, diamonds. So let's go move on to number three. Number three, this one might be the most expensive. So you're going to want to place lava and then place signs underneath it. So then you can actually go under the lava and it will stop flowing. And then do the same thing but with water. And then you can just place your base down here or something. And how do you get back up? You just hold space. So it's kind of like a water elevator. But people will not want to jump into a bucket of lava. But you know that it's not just a bucket of lava. Number four actually includes the 1.13 or 1.14 update that allows you to crawl. So if you put trap doors on your wall, you can actually open this up and break that. And then you can just click. I just broke it. Wow. Okay. So then you can just click on that and you should um, crawl. And why are there so many bats? Holy. Okay. Yeah, and then you could just have your base down here or something. And to get back, you could just do the same thing with another trap door. And you can go back and forth. It's really, really simple. And you get your diamonds. That's the most important part. So let's go move on to number five. So moving on to number five, it's just the old tripwire. And when you step on that, you can put a command block under it. I don't know if this can says redstone, though. But you can just do, like, TP and, like, teleport it to your coordinates of where your base is. So then it will just teleport you to where your base is, or in this case, diamond. And why is it not netherite? Because in my mind, we all know diamond is the best, even though netherite is. So this last one actually relates to this. But if you use a shovel or a hoe on grass, it makes this path. And it's not actually a full block. So you can place a command block that teleports you to the coordinates of your base, or diamonds in this case, again. And then you can just put a button on it. And you can actually press it through this small crack in the blocks. So, yeah. By the way, guys, if you actually want to know how to get a command block, it's not actually in the creative inventory. You have to do slash give add us to us add us and then just like command block. You have to do that and then you get it. So just for all those people who didn't know that. Still a bat out. It's day. Oh my god, why are there so many bats? Okay, so that is going to be it for the video. If you enjoyed, why not subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know what your favorite build was and your favorite technique to hide your base. I like the lava technique, the lava water elevator thing. It just works really well, and it's probably the least suspicious of all of them. I mean, a trapdoor wall with a hole is probably really suspicious. But yeah, that is going to be it for the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.